All right, hi again everyone. Back with a little bit more work done. So uh, I've got the output circuit tuned a little bit better. Uh, it's tuned a bit lower, uh, down around uh, 25 kilohertz right now. Uh, that was a combination of uh, lowering the push-pull uh, frequency with the capacitors and uh, the frequency of the output coil with these capacitors here. Uh, then there's uh, these guys which uh, the winding coming off the uh, toroid here and the primary here is uh, in series uh, from that coil to the next. Uh, so that was uh, reached a certain peak as well when I added the three microfarads to that. Um, <clears throat> so right now we've got 91 volts across these two lights and uh, the Tesla coil I've got tuned up a little bit better well tuned down I guess with uh, ferrite rods in that side and this side and so when that gets to just the right frequency uh, the output trembles like this starts to start trembling and uh, that could be some kind of threshold but uh, as soon as I make any adjustments beyond this the uh, power supply kicks out so I must be drawing too much for this power supply um, but it's definitely when I start adjusting uh, the core in and out here and then it just starts to uh, squeal on the toroid here so I think if I had a single toroid transformer with no uh, splits in the middle then it uh, would have probably eliminate that ringing but uh, yeah, it makes a little bit of noise sometimes when you squeeze it I was thinking of uh, just dunking it into a little container full of oil and because uh, it sounded like it was arcing out uh, from the core. <clears throat> so one way I was able to also lower the frequency, I believe it's working anyway, is uh, with these two nanos uh, in series with the base of the resonator. So the base of the resonator in series with these two nanos in parallel and then going to the base of the MOSFET. Uh, anyway, uh, this neon starts to activate basically when I get that ferrite rod to just the right spot. So, yeah, it. Uh, and then when it gets to the right spot, is where you start to see the trembling of this wave here at 25 kilohertz. So now. I'll switch off the Tesla coil. And now you can see the wave has uh, gone very clear. And uh, so now with the Tesla coil turned back on. start to get this ringing sound happen. And the wave starts to tremble. It's my best uh, description for that. So, pretty neat stuff. So these are 60 watt bulbs, basically with uh, 90 volts across the two lights in parallel at, uh, you know, well it's supposed to be 115 volts I'm looking for, but 90 volts isn't uh, all that bad. But due to the tripping out of the power supply, I'm thinking I'm going to have to either run this uh, 
right off 24 volts to power these things and see if I can push past this uh, this issue. I'll show you what I mean here. Try to get this in the shot. So it starts to make that arcing sound. Then it'll just shut right off. And it's trying but it's too much of a surge. And you can see the neon is coming on here as well. So it's just, everything's trying to turn on under load and it's, uh, something's arcing out. So I gotta back out the ferrate a bit. Can't get rid of that sound though. And I can't push past this point because something was arcing, or the power supply can't hack it, or something, some wire's too skinny. I don't know. But. Pretty exciting. Got it. Yeah, it's really starting to ring now. And that's about it for now, so until I find a way to uh, kind of phase lock these things uh, basically using uh, winding off of this to drive the primary of the Tesla coil and then have the resonator tuned for the frequency of the output uh, so and I'm gonna just basically rebuild uh, this circuit rebuild that circuit a lot tighter and uh, but it's very handy to have the MOSFETs accessible separate from the circuit board uh, on these fans and I can just undo the wires really easy, switch it out uh, do whatever so uh, until I figure out this core problem and uh, the power supply problem uh, this is about where I can where it's at right now. So, a couple bulbs now at not quite full power, but 91, sometimes 95 volts across the load. Pretty cool. So I'll talk to you guys soon.